almost anything that humankind does in terms of development has always required a map to be available for planning purposes. So you can't plan if you don't have a map. If we can't plan without a map, it means we can't develop without maps. That, that's where the strength of geospatial sciences comes in. Geospatial issues and GIs are important because it enables people to make smart decisions in the society. We have plenty of problems on the daily basis and things, what we do, are always happening somewhere. To know where things are and how do they relate to the decisions that we make is fundamental for better and clever decision making for everybody. This country, Tanzania, is very large. We are talking about 945,000 square kilometers. We have got a population of about 50 million people. So geospatial technology is very important to help the government and the community in general to be able to collect, organize data so that they are able to plan for the better services of the people. The importance of GIS in farming is to tell you exactly where is the farmer, what are they doing on that farm, and how can other players within the agricultural value chain work with that farmer. But there's much more in terms of the farmer depends on the weather to cultivate, there's climate change, all these are data that are given in terms of space. Everything happens in space and time. Uh, reporting crimes, reporting traffic, it always has a spatial element. And we need a lot of expertise in that area to be able to explore the full potential of the spatial approaches. I get the value in education because I have been a student of GIS. I'm trying to learn a technology which is new, but it's exciting as well, and I'm seeing the benefits of it. The successful implementation of GIS solutions in Tanzania have a couple of fundamental important issues. One is uh, participation of the citizens. People here don't have to go through the same steps of development as we have gone through in many other countries, moving from table computers to laptops and then to mobile phones. Here the solutions are really agile, mobile, light, clever, and they make fundamental impact into people's life quality. For me, what I would aspire to is a situation whereby we put in place mechanisms that make data, all kinds of data, geospatial data, socioeconomic data, become open. And so if we manage to put in place what we call the geospatial data infrastructure in place, that specifies the standards that we shall use to capture data and be able to put in place the mechanisms for processing that data into information and be able to disseminate that information. That then would really launch this country into the age of information and I have trust that Tanzania can do it. We went through a hard time where people started denying the importance of spatial technologies in solving issues like uh, business locations, uh, tax management, uh, disasters and flood management. So we've gone through that period and now people have already accepted the technology and now it's become ubiquitous. Geospatial technologies are becoming a platform in their own right and people can actually put some very innovative solutions there. The government now is already understanding what is the importance of this one. There are a number of initiatives that is being undertaken. There is the land policy, uh, which is in the uh, development, and it is already acknowledging the use of these special technologies. I see Tanzania as one of the very prominent uh, countries for future development of geospatial technologies. The country is rich in natural resources. You have enormous amount of land area to be developed for the benefit of the residents. There is a need for good solutions and the need is the one which is driving this development at the end of the day. But there are some critical issues and those are the, the col collaborations and teaming up as experts. Everybody needs to be proactive in, and in what they are doing, sharing their information and cultivating the willingness of collaboration altogether.